chunk yeah. open up I saw my soul a good price yeah. out of sight you might hold got talent Hi guys and welcome to Barn Tech Tips and before we begin hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I've got a lot of stuff to talk about Samsung's new flagship S20 Plus smartphone and I would request you to check the video till the end. It's going to be a long video. We will not talk about the specifications of the phone because you can check that on the website. I'll leave a link in the video description for that and First, let's check what exactly you get in the box. So you get a decent box, a standard I would say. It says S20 at the top and then S20 Plus at the bottom. When you open it, there it is. The S20 Plus. Let's check what else do you get in the box. So you get the manual, then you get the standard Samsung transparent cover. And I think a lot of other companies have now come up and they are getting the same covers with their phones. When you go a little further, you obviously get the SIM ejection pin. You also get the standard Samsung charger. It's actually not a standard one because this phone supports 25 watts charging. So it's a super fast charger. Type C to Type C and then you get the AKG headphones which I think are amazing. I've used them with Note 8 and I've used them with this phone. It's a type C version because there's no 3.5 mm jack. So it's an AKG type C headphones but I'm not going to buy a new one to replace this. The design is actually amazing. I think it's better than iPhone 11 with no bezels no notch and something that I loved about Samsung was the edge screen. Now on this phone you get a more of a flat display than curved. I would deduct some points there but honestly when I was out with this phone people could not take off their eyes from this phone. So it's definitely an amazing design. 3.5mm jack is dead, but the fact that you get Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus for 1999, if you pre-book this phone in India, I think it balance it out. The phone has a face scanner which I think is amazingly fast, but I'm afraid that it uses a 2D scanner so it's kind of uh, more of a feature than security. S20 Plus inherits the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner from the S10 series. The phone has got a 4500 mAh battery which I think is not a step forward from Samsung but it was actually a necessity because of the hardware that is used in the phone. You'll get to know about that in a minute but I think Samsung needs to work on their batteries. Now the display. I can say this n number of times that the display on this phone is the best. Now honestly, you get an OLED or HD plus 6.7 inches when 20 hertz display. What else do you need? For people who do not know, a standard phone refreshes 60 times a second and this phone refreshes 120 times, twice as many. And that's not it. This phone has got a 240Hz touch response rate, which means that it actually registers touches twice the time a standard phone does. So you get amazing smoothness when you use this phone. And I think it's a lot better than what you get with any other smartphone available in the market at the moment. By the way, I'm also going to upload a review on iPhone 11, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel to watch that video. Something I loved about this phone is stereo speakers. I mean, not exactly stereo speakers, but it's actually something completely different which I cannot explain. For example, if you're watching a video in portrait mode, the sound comes out of the speakers just like a normal phone. Obviously, it's a lot louder because of two speakers and you get, you get more thumping sound, but when you tilt it 
and you're watching the video now on landscape, the sound changes. I mean, it, it it's more like a 3D effect than the standard stereo effect. I cannot explain it. I think it's better that you go out to a Samsung store, check that for yourself. But when you tilt the phone, the sound kind of changes from where it comes, uh, the way it comes, but it looks amazing. I know you guys are waiting for this. Yes, I have tested the camera of this phone and it's pretty amazing. You get multiple modes, single take, which takes multiple photos and GIF from God knows how many cameras. You get the standard photo mode. You also get the live focus mode, which kind of blurs the background. It's a software blur though, but it is impressive. You get the pro mode and this time a live focus video mode, which is I think the best available in a smartphone. Talking about camera, you look at this photo, like the night mode. It has the depth, which is probably because of the depth sensor, with great crispness, even in low light. Look at this picture for instance. I clicked it in the Burger Club. In the normal photo mode, it looks great and when you zoom in, the picture does not lose its details at all. A similar example would be this picture taken from my balcony. And if I zoom in, you can still read the text of this picture. Samsung S20 Ultra has got a 100x zoom, but this one has got a 30x zoom. And honestly, it's good, but then you cannot expect crisp pictures with that. I think you already know that, but just for instance, look at the picture that I've taken. These are some pictures clicked with 30x zoom in daylight. I think for 30x you need great stability because if your hands are shaking, you would not get a great picture out of it. Wide angle shots had some shape problem at times but not something that would look odd. And this time, for the first time, for the very 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 first time, for the very first time, I'm amazed to see such a big change in Samsung software. Now I'm not talking about the UI. My money is still on Apple for user interface. It's actually about image processing. So when you click a picture with this phone, and you open it quickly, you might see that that's not the best shot that you've taken. But if you wait for three to five seconds, you would see that it completely changes and you start liking the picture. Now to be clear, this phone is for around 75,000 rupees in the Indian market. I don't know if you would spend that much on a smartphone or not, but if you do, then I think it's great bang for buck. There are a lot of things that I wanted to talk about in this video, but I could not. But I would request you to go out to a Samsung outlet, check the phone, and I'm sure that you would buy one if you want to spend that amount on a smartphone. So I'll wait for you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.